Christmas wouldn't be complete without Christmas movies, of course. In this video, I'm sharing the seven best Christmas movies for English learners. You'll find something for everyone from Christmas classics to unconventional 80s Christmas movies. I'm Cara Leopold from Leo Listening, where I help movie loving English learners understand and discuss iconic films together. Speaking of which, if you want to boost your English before the end of the year, starting December 6, 2023, I'm running a special Christmas edition of my movie club, where you'll understand and discuss the unconventional Christmas movie, You've Got Mail. With my help and the support of the community, you'll be able to understand You've Got Mail without the subtitles, have fascinating discussions about it, and improve your English listening, speaking, and pronunciation skills in the process. If that sounds like something you'd love to do before the year ends, then you'll find a link in the description to sign up. You'll also find a link to a special event I'm doing on December 4th, which is a guided tour and a Q&A session all about the movie club so you can discover it and see if it's for you. Again, all of that is in the description. Now, let's get into these Christmas movies for English learners. What do you do when you're feeling heartbroken at Christmas time? Swap houses, of course. This is a storyline of the 2006 Christmas movie The Holiday starring Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jude Law and Jack Black among others. The film is about two women, Iris and Amanda, who are both getting over breakups and to take their mind off their troubles and their love life, they decide to spend Christmas and New Year in a completely different place by swapping houses with each other. So Amanda travels to Iris's cute cottage in the English countryside while Iris heads out to Amanda's place in California. And of course, while they're abroad at Christmas, they fall in love with a local guy. Come on, this is a romantic comedy and a Christmas romantic comedy at that. So yes, the storyline is a bit predictable, but what's good for you as an English learner is that you'll get a chance to hear both American and British accents in this film. Life is a bit more complicated than that. There are many types of American accent, many types of British ones, but here you'll discover two that I think will be quite easy to understand as Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet are, are well known. And like I said, the storyline is a bit predictable. It's not a super complicated plot, so that will also help you concentrate on the story and enjoy it and understand it. Not a fan of the Christmas classics? Looking for something a little bit different? Well, this next movie might be for you. It's the 80s Christmas film Trading Places. Like I said, it's not your traditional Christmas movie. It's actually the story of a Wall Street commodities broker played by Dan Aykroyd and a homeless street hustler played by Eddie Murphy who switch places. And it's a film with good feelings and lots of laughter. For English learners, it can be a bit challenging, but also interesting for you to see what happens in terms of language when Eddie Murphy goes from homeless guy to commodities broker. So instead of speaking in African-American English like he does when he's homeless, he actually adapts his language to fit in with the upper class Wall Street crowd. So that can be something interesting for you to observe how his language changes and you'll probably find him a bit easier to understand once he starts speaking in a more upper class way. So that's going to be really interesting for you and you'll have a good laugh while watching this movie too. Another detail about Trading Places is that I know it's quite a popular Christmas movie in certain countries. Italians might be familiar with it because apparently it's a film that is on TV in Italy every Christmas. So you've probably already seen it dubbed into your native language or perhaps subtitled in your native language and that will really help you to understand it as well because you're already familiar with the story. Are you a fan of Peanuts? Not the food, but the comic strips by Charles M. Schultz starring Charlie Brown, his dog Snoopy and a whole cast of other characters. Well, good news, there's also a Peanuts Christmas movie which is called A Charlie Brown Christmas. In the film, Charlie Brown is upset about the materialism that he sees during the Christmas season, the obsession with, you know, presents and buying things and spending money. So Lucy suggests that he becomes the director of the school's Christmas play. Like many of Charlie Brown's projects, it doesn't go smoothly and it is a frustrating 
struggle, but that will generate a lot of humour, of course. The storyline is easy to follow for you as an English learner, but it's not childish language. In fact, it can actually be quite sophisticated. The only character who can be a little difficult to understand is actually Charlie Brown himself, but the rest of the characters should be easy to understand. So I said that I would share both unconventional Christmas movies and classics in this list, and you don't get more classic than A Christmas Carol, except when you mix A Christmas Carol and The Muppets to get The Muppet Christmas Carol. If you're not familiar with it, A Christmas Carol is a novella by the English writer Charles Dickens. It's a very famous story that has been adapted multiple times in movies. So The Muppet's Christmas Carol is just one adaptation. If you're not familiar with the story, it's about a greedy and selfish man called Ebenezer Scrooge who receives visits from three ghosts at Christmas time. And these visits lead to him changing his ways and really embracing the spirit of Christmas. So in this Muppet version, they of course follow that story, which does have some dark moments. You know, it involves ghosts and it involves some heavy topics, but the Muppets bring a lot of humor to the story and of course songs and everything you would expect from the Muppets in this 1992 version of the story. What's useful for you as an English learner is that you'll be able to discover a classic Christmas story that's very famous and that's referenced quite a lot. So if you've ever wondered why people say bar humbug at Christmas, well, you'll figure out why if you watch this movie or any other adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Another nice thing about this film is that it has a narrator. So in the movie Gonzo, you know, the one with the blue nose, plays Charles Dickens and narrates the film along with Rizzo the Rat. And what's good about narration is that it's usually easier to understand than dialogue. So Gonzo's narration will help you to follow along with the film. And also his interactions with Rizzo are very funny. So you'll have a good laugh along the way. By the way, if you're enjoying this list of Christmas movies for English learners and you'd like to get more videos like this, which include tips for learning English with films for movie loving English learners, then please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and share it with fellow English learners who would like to get fluent through film. Thank you. Do you love classic literature and movies? and Christmas. Well, in that case, you're going to love this next Christmas movie suggestion. It's Little Women. There have been quite a few movie adaptations of Little Women over the years. The latest one was the 2019 Greta Gerwig version, although here I'm talking about the 1994 version starring Winona Ryder and Susan Sarandon. Little Women isn't specifically about Christmas, but many of the key scenes take place at Christmas. So the movie is based on a novel by Louisa May Alcott. And what I like about movies based on books is that you get an opportunity to not only watch the movie, but also read the book. And that can help reinforce your understanding of both. It can give you points of comparison and things to discuss. Some of the language in this movie may be a bit old fashioned because the novel and the film are set in the Massachusetts area in the 1800s. But there's a reason that the movie keeps getting remade and that's because it deals with timeless themes such as the bond between the March sisters and with their friends and family and it also deals with many timeless struggles such as the search for love, exploring your identity and finding your own path in life. So whichever version of Little Women you choose to watch, I'm sure it will be a heartwarming Christmas movie. Now, no list of Christmas movies would be complete without one of the biggest classics ever. It's, of course, Home Alone, the movie that shot Macaulay Culkin into stardom and that's on every year and that you've probably seen in your own language. If you're not familiar with it though, Home Alone is about a kid called Kevin who gets bullied by his older siblings and his cousins and he's kind of the joke of the family. So he wishes that they would disappear and one day 
they actually do. His family go to Paris for Christmas and they leave him behind at home. Now, of course, as soon as they realize Kevin is missing, they head out and they, they look for him. His mother returns to the US to go and find him. But in the meantime, Kevin is loving being at home alone and enjoying life without his family. He has loads of fun running around the house by himself and is just enjoying life. So, Things are going well until the day that two burglars show up and they try to break into the house. And there things get a bit scary. They also get very violent. Home Alone is quite a violent movie. Violent and humorous at the same time, but just something to be aware of. It is a good film for English learners as well. So the storyline is fairly simple. It's also very situational. So the characters aren't talking about abstract themes particularly, but they tend to focus on what's happening right in front of them. Plus you'll see a whole variety variety of Christmas traditions in English-speaking countries, well here specifically the US, but you'll see things like visiting Santa, decorating the tree, all those things that happen at Christmas time. And you should be able to follow along with the movie very easily as well. So I'm ending this list of Christmas movies for English learners with a particularly unusual choice, a quirky 80s comedy that you may enjoy even if you don't think you're a Christmas movie person. It's 1985's Better Off Dead starring John Cusack. So in the film, John Cusack plays Lane Meyer, a high school student whose girlfriend Beth dumps him just before Christmas. Now, about that title, Better Off Dead, the theme may seem a bit heavy, but Lane is so upset by getting dumped that he tries to kill himself. Fortunately, he fails. He also tries to get back with Beth several times and he fails at that as well. He's a keen skier, so to impress her, he tries skiing down the dangerous K-12 slope and fails at that as well. While Lane is busy trying to get back with Beth, next door at his neighbor's house, Monique, a French exchange student, is actually in love with him. She's staying with their very weird neighbours who are so strange that she pretends that she can't speak English at all. And she starts developing a relationship with Lane and they find out that they have quite a lot in common, including skiing. And in fact, Monique will go on to help Lane ski down that dangerous K-12 slope. So despite the heavy sounding themes, Better Off Dead is very much a quirky comedy with an unusual cast of characters. What I like about it for you as an English learner is the fact that for once in these Hollywood American movies there's a character who's not actually American. Like I say, Monique is French, she's an exchange student, she's discovering the customs of Americans at Christmas and perhaps having a bit of trouble fitting in. So it's great that she meets Lane who is somebody who she can actually get along with. So in the movie, there is plenty of visual humor that will help you understand and follow it. If you're looking for something a bit different, then Better Off Dead could be the Christmas movie for you. So there you have it, the seven best Christmas movies for English learners. If you'd like to make progress in English before the end of 2023, and you'd like to do that by discussing the unconventional Christmas movie You've Got Mail, then I would love for you to join me for my special Christmas edition of Movie Club, which starts on Wednesday, December 6, 2023. You'll find a link in the description to find out more about that. You'll also find an invitation to a free guided tour and Q&A session of the club so you can discover what it's all about and how it will help you improve your English speaking, listening and pronunciation skills by having fascinating discussions about You've Got Mail. Otherwise, let me know, what are your favourite Christmas movies? Were any of your favourites on this list or do you have others to suggest? And are you inspired by any of these Christmas movie suggestions to go and watch them? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks.